Over time, Rita and Bobby have developed a strong bond. She taught me all about baboons. She taught me how to fall in love with baboons. And ever since, I mean, it was my fight for Bobby extended to the other baboons. If I would have never found Bobby, I would have never found out how special baboons are. And so I fell in love with Bobby, and consequently I looked at other baboons and I thought, they are amazing. I had no knowledge of baboons, and I don't think anybody else in the world had, because would you study rats? You would. You couldn't kill it. And nobody was interested in what baboons do. And she totally amazed me by being such an intelligent creature. Rita and Bobby's chance meeting over 30 years ago changed both their lives for good. I was traveling a lot in those days, and I found Bobby in, a, in an army camp in Namibia. There was some war on, I don't know who was fighting him. Soldiers are rough. I, I, I'm not saying they're cool, but they're rough. You know, she was just there entertaining me. And so, confiscated her. Can you imagine one baboon in an army camp? What is Bobby doing in an army camp? I think she must have picked up that I was her lifeline. Well, whatever, she was perfect. She behaved perfectly. When we went over the border, Bobby took a dive. I didn't, she, she instinctively knew. The policeman came and looked at the little thing that's on the windscreen. And Bobby from inside looked at him. He never said a word. He must have thought he's seen pink elephants. Didn't mention it with me. If somebody would have stopped me because of her, I think we would have had a third world war or something. I would not have given her up like that. But everything went smoothly because she was intelligent enough to die. <laughs> totally illegally, I smuggled her into a country. Such dogged determination to get her own way rubs people up the wrong way. Obviously, there were so many people who hated what she did because she was perpetrating these vermin that they were trying to exterminate. So, we, you know, we, we have all these different species in the world and thank goodness there are people like Rita who are working for those that other people don't like. You look at people who've done similar things with other species and you see that common trait, that common gritty determination, sheer bloody mindedness that it takes. Some people call it madness actually. They say you're mad to do this, but you have to be a little bit mad in order to go that far to make sure that an animal will make it once you release that animal back into the wild. Rescuing Bobby was not the first time Rita's defied those who stood in her way. She has a history for doing so. 